you know, I the the importance of season or season three, if you will, is the fact that this is something a, a lot of fans have been wanting to see, myself included, for the past 18 years. You know, yeah, it's hard to believe it's going to be 18 years um, come next month. Well, not 18 years, actually, let's see. It ended, yeah, about 18, about 18 years, so. But, you know, it's something that we've been waiting for since about between this time frame, between spring of 93 and now. You know, it's something that well, we had been wanting to see happen. Um, I first found out about the season three or the season co web comic uh, years ago when I was living in Kansas. Um, I think it's around the time I got my first computer. And, and quite honestly, it was more along the lines of just trying to get my dog's attention there, but, but it was more along the lines of the fact that what they were doing were taking what essentially from what people said were original scripts or rough drafts or something like that of what Ben Hurst um, had planned for the third season. And to me, when I read these for the first time, in fact, I downloaded and printed some of these I have them stored away in a, in, a, in a tote in the garage. But when I first, you know, read these, I was just, just blown away at how good they were, they were written. I saw the artists, different artists kind of helping out a little bit. And now, I've, and now years later, we kind of see that web comic, comic I should say the web comic, being revived and because and because of that revival of the web comic, you're seeing more. You're now seeing the progression of what is going to be uh, the season animated series. And you know, to me, to me, season, you know, again, like I said, is something that is a long time coming. Um. I really, I, I really commend, I really commend and applaud those involved with it, you know, because the names mean Matt, Laura, Paul, uh, Kayla, uh, uh, Jeremiah or Jeremy, whatever his name is, the guy doing the music. You know, I really applaud them and I really commend them for doing this. So taking time out of those schedules, out of our own personal lives to say, you know what? We're going to make this happen. We're going to finally make it happen. There's no other company or animation company out there that's going to make it happen. Right now, Sega's not going to make it happen. So we're going to make it happen. And I really think that's a unique, I really think that's a unique perspective of looking at it. And I commend them for that. I applaud them for that. For them taking that risk in saying, look, if you're not going, if Sega is not going to approach an animation studio to get this done, then we're going to do it. Because again, this is something that a lot of fans have been wanting to see for years. And then, to add in the idea of broadcasting it or showcasing it on YouTube is even, is even better because there's not one platform one, one platform out there that you cannot access YouTube on. You can access them on your iPod, your iPhone, your iPad, your Kindles, your Androids, your, set, your smart TVs, your Xboxes, your PS4, your Playstations, your Wii's, your Wii U's, you know, your Rukas, if you will, your Blu-rays. You know, there's not one device, one media device or platform out there that you cannot access YouTube on. And just to be able to say, hey, you're going to be able to access it not just on your computer, but you're going to be able to access it all over. 
That's saying something. I mean, let's say somebody who has an iPhone or an Android or a Samsung smartphone, whatever you want to call it. Let's say they're going on a long trip to, let's say, Disney World or Disneyland, and they want to keep something, and they want to watch something to keep themselves entertained. They can go to YouTube, go to season, and watch it. And what's even better about this is you got websites out there. You got websites out there that allow you to copy the link of the YouTube video, paste it onto their site, and convert it and convert and download it to a file that you could put onto a CD-ROM or a DVD-ROM. And if you have a DVD recorder like I do, depending on the file that you downloaded it as, you can record it onto DVD and thus slowly but surely slowly but surely have a DVD copy of season three. And that's its importance. Because it's giving fans, long-time fans, access to it. It's going to give these newer, younger fans an idea as to why Saturday M was so important. Why these characters are beloved the way they are. And why fans, even now, kind of are criticizing or are not too sure about what's going on with the characters in the comic. Why they prefer the Saturday, them in the Saturday M forms than what's going on in the comic. So to me... So to me, this is definitely something worth watching and worth, you know, taking your time and creating. And to me, I, again, I commend and applaud the staff that's doing this. And as I've said before to them, I cannot wait. I cannot wait, hey, if you will, for season to premiere on YouTube. I cannot wait. Heck, I can't even wait for the first trailer.